inshallah in today class we are going to continue with limits functions of several variables in this class we see how to find the limits when two variables are given also we see whether the limits are exist or do not exist or the limits are continued continuous or not continuous so let me start with the small question see here limit x tends to 1 y tends to 2 this is the question whether we substitute first x then y or first we substitute y then x we must get the same answer we'll have the same answer if the answer is not same then we say that the limit does not exist because the limit value should be unique only one value should get if it is getting different values that means the limit does not exist you see here let me start with one we substitute x equals x tends to 1 so let me write like this limit y tends to 2 we separate this in two terms into limit x tends to 1 2x square y by x square plus y square plus 1 now let me substitute the value of 1 here x equals to 1 you write y as it is don't change y you write x tends to 1 means in place of x you write 1 so what is left here limit y tends to 2 if you substitute here x equals to 1 2 into 1 square is 1 1 into 2 is 2 by this will be 1 square is 1 1 plus 1 2 this will become y square plus 2 now let me substitute y equals to 2 here so this will become 2 into 2 divided by 2 square plus 2 so 2 square 2 to the 4 4 divided by 2 square is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So 2 twos are 2 threes. Are. So this will become 2 by 3. Now you see the next question. Limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0. x tends to 0, y tends to 0. We have to show that this does not exist. You see here, how I am explaining. First you see case 1, suppose. In case 1, let me first substitute x tends to 0 then y tends to 0 okay this is the method was carefully then for case 2 let let me reverse this one first we substitute y tends to 0 after that we tends x tends to 0 this should be equal the values of both the ways should be equal then we say exist otherwise we does not exist not not just here then the case 3 let me change C limit through y equals y tends to some mx through the line y equals to mx or we can see y equals tends to mx square or x tends to my or x tends to my square whatever we see all this should have the same value of limit same value of limit if the value of limit changes then we say do not exist because the value should be unique only one value should come we should have only one answer one more thing is when we substitute m if we left with suppose m square by m square plus 1 or m plus 1 the limit value in terms of m also does not exist because does not exist why because if we substitute different values of m we will get the different values of limit but the value of limit should be unique only one value so if after substituting y equals to mx y tends to mx square if we get the equation in terms of m in terms of m that is it is dependent on m so how many values we substitute for m will get different values for m different values of limits so it does not exist that is if we get in terms of m also limit value then we say limit does not exist so let me see one after one let me start with like this you see here let me substitute x first let me write like the solution see here let me substitute x first limit y tends to zero limit x tends to 0, x square minus x root y by x square plus y. Now you do one thing, equals to limit y tends to 0. Here you just sub substitute x equals to 0 here. So this x square is 0, minus 0 into root y is 0. You write y as it is, x is 0, 0 plus y is y. So 0 by any number is 0, so we will get 0 here. 0 by any number is 0 so the limit value here is 0 so note this as 1 don't substitute here 0 just 0 by any number is 0 don't write here 0 it will become 0 by 0 not defined in determinate form so you now reverse this one limit x tends to 0 let you find limit y tends to 0 
x square minus x root y divided by x square plus y sorry x square plus y now here first let me substitute the value of y tends to 0 y tends to 0 so if we do y tends to 0 what will be left here you see here equals to limit x tends to 0 if you substitute 0 here this will become 0 this will become 0 what is left here x square by x square this will get cancelled so limit x tends to sorry if we substitute here a sorry once while i'll explain if you substitute y 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 what is left here x square by x square if you get cancelled it is left with 1 so this value will be 1 because limit x tends to 0 don't axial so note this too you see here here we got the value 0 here we get the value 1 therefore we can say like this limit x y tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 f of x comma y is not equals to limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to 0 f of x comma y so if the limit is not unique we say that limit does not exist therefore limit does not exist limit does not exist limit does not exist what is here next question determine now we have to determine the value of this watch carefully let you first substitute by x so we write y outside limit y tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 what is the question here x y by x square plus y square watch carefully equals to limit y tends to 0 if you subtract x here 0 0 into a number 0 0 plus y will be 0 so 0 plus y is y square so this will be 0 by y square 0 by the number is 0 so limit y tends to 0 0 so you will get this as 0 not just as 1 now let me reverse this interchange this one now let me find limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to 0 x y by x square plus y square equals to now see here limit x tends to 0 if you substitute here y 0 this will be 0 into a number 0 0 by x square will be 0 so this value is 0 note this as 2 so both cases we got the same value first also same second also same but here the question is not finished we have to see some other rules also suppose y tends to mx or y tends to mx square or x tends to my whatever the rules we have taken we must get the same answer so let me do one thing let me do one thing now let me try for y tends to mx you see here limit x tends to 0 here limit y tends to mx we have to see the quite different rules y tends to mx y tends to mx square like that we must get the same answer so what is here x y by x square plus y square now you substitute the value of y in here mx so what is left here limit x tends to 0 if you substitute y equals to mx x into y is mx divided by x square plus y square will be m square x square now you take x square common from the denominator what is left here see limit x tends to 0 m x into x is x square by if you take x square common here you left with 1 plus m square m square m square get sorry x square square get cancelled what is left here limit x tends to 0 m divided by 1 plus m square so it is not it is not independent of m it depends upon m so if you keep m equals to 1 this will be 1 by 2 if you keep m equals to 2 it will be 2 by 5 2 square 4 plus 1 5 so you are getting different values for different values of m that is the limit is not unique therefore we say the limit does not exist since limit how limit how different values different values for dif for different values of m different values of different values for different values of m different values of m therefore we say that the limit does not exist because 
it should be independent of m it should be independent of m so we say this is the limit you write in last thing the limit does not exist now see the next question determine find the limit value if it exists so let us first see whether the limit exists or not let us start with substituting first x so write y outside limit y tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 x square plus y square by x minus y see here limit y tends to 0 if you substitute x 0 here this will become 0 this will become 0 what is left here y square by minus y this y and square will get cancelled now what is left here limit y tends to 0 of minus y if substitute y equals to 0 this will be 0 so note this as 1 now let me substitute interchange this one left we substitute x first y first so limit you write x outside limit y tends to 0 x square plus y square by x minus y equals to limit x tends to 0 now if you substitute y 0 this will become 0 what is left here x square by x get cancelled now if you substitute x equals to 0 this is 0 you note this as 2 so these two are same now let me try for a one more some another part suppose phi as y tends to mx let me see we have to see by looking different parts we must get the same answer so let me find in the next way like this limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to mx the third step you try for mx y equals to mx so what is the question x square plus y square by x minus y this also must get the same answer 0 if this value comes in terms of m then we say it is not exist because m have for m values different we will have the different values for the limit so you must get the unique only one value of limit so let you do one thing equals to limit x tends to 0 if you substitute m x in place of y mx it will be x square plus m square x square divided by x minus m x you take common from the numerator and denominator limit x tends to 0 if you take x square common it left with 1 plus m square if you take x common it is left with 1 minus x now if you substitute 0 it will be 0 into 1 plus m square by 1 minus m so 0 into a number 0 so from this path also we get the same value and if we try for other parts also from some other value also you will get the same value therefore we say that the limit exists therefore the limit exists the limit exists and its value what we are answer we are getting zero so its value is zero the limit exists and its value is zero now see what here continuity means we have must have two conditions for continuity these two conditions must be satisfied first condition is the limit must exist now we have seen how whether the limit exists or not first we substitute x then y then y then x then we see through the path y tends to mx or y tends to mx square so we see for, for first whether the limit exists or not second thing is the limit fun value and the function value should be same suppose limit x tends to x comma y f of a uh, f of x comma y its value and the function value f of a comma y these two values should be equal now i'll explain you with an example you see here the question now what here solution see here we have to find the limit here x y by x square plus y square whether exist or not then the value of limit should be equals to 0 because the function value is here given see here what is here f of 0 comma 0 is 0 x comma y is 0 means f of 0 comma 0 is 0 so the limit value should also exist and its value should also be 0 then we say it is continuous the limit value exists but is not equals to 0 we say the limit is not the function is not continuous and the if the limit value does not exist also we say the function is not continuous so first we have to find the limit at x by 0 0 so let me start limit x tends to 0 0 sorry limit x comma y limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 x y by x square plus y square let me first substitute x so like right let limit y tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 x y by x square plus y square 
what you get here limit x tend y tends to 0 if you substitute here x 0 0 into a number 0 0 by 0 plus y square is 0 by y square is 0 so this value will be 0 note this as 1 so let me interchange the value let me write like this limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to 0 x y by x square plus y square here also you get 0 limit x tends to 0 if y is 0 0 into number 0 0 by x square is 0 so this value is also 0 note this as 2 now let me see through the path y tends to mx y tends to mx you must get the same value limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to mx so in place of y you write mx so m into x into x x square by x square plus in place of y mx so this will become m square x square now you take x square common from the denominator get cancel limit x tends to 0 in place of y we wrote x no y tends to mx one step you have to write here in the next step you substitute this okay now see here this is x square sorry i'm writing one more step because when we substitute you should not write the limit limit x y by x square plus y square equals to limit x tends to zero now if you substitute in place of y mx it will be m x into x x square by x square plus m square x square if you take common x square x square you get cancer you left with m by 1 plus m square we are not getting independent of m it depends upon m just now we have seen so for different values of m you will get different values of limits therefore it does not exist therefore limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 f of x comma y does not exist does not exist for continuity we have two conditions first condition is limit x should exist and the second condition is the value of limit should be equal to the value of the function the value of limit should be equal to the value of the function because the limit does not exist we say f is discontinuous f is discontinuous discontinuous at x sorry at x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 at 0 comma 0 is discontinuous at 0 comma 0 now watch here examine the continuity at origin means 0 comma 0 of the function can you say what is the value of function first i am writing value of function given value of function is f of 0 comma 0 equals to 0 at 0 comma 0 means f of 0 comma 0 equals to 0 so the value of function is 0 we must get the value of limit also 0 so first we have to see whether the limit exists or not for that first we substitute x tends to 0 then we substitute y tends to 0 then we see through any path suppose y tends to mx all that values we should get the same values so i am starting with like this limit y tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 f of x y is x square by under root of x square plus y square x square by under root of x square plus y square so what is left here is see here x square by if we substitute 0 this 0 by any number is 0 so limit y tends to 0 0 it will be 0 note this as 1 so let me interchange the variables see a limit x tends to 0 limit y tends to 0 x divided by under root of x square plus y square x square sorry. now see here if you substitute y equals to 0 this will become 0 root of x square is x so see here limit x tends to 0 what is left here x square divided by if we substitute y is 0 this will be 0 root of x square is x you cancel this one x square you can cancel what is left here limit x tends to 0 x if you substitute x, substitute x equals to 0, this will become 0. So note this also. We got this also 0, this also 0. One more step, let me see through some another root y tends to mx. Let me see for y tends to mx. I am writing like this. Limit x tends to 0. Now limit y tends to mx. 
x square by under root of x square plus y square. Now let me substitute in place of y mx. So what will become limit x tends to 0. If you substitute y tends to mx, you will have like this x square divided by under root of x square plus in place of y mx. So this will become m square x square. You take common x squared from the root, it will become x, limit x tends to 0, x squared by, if you take common x squared, what is left here, 1 plus m squared, so this square will, will get cancelled, left with x, so limit x tends to 0, x squared by, you will have like this, x into under root of 1 plus m squared, x and square get cancelled, now if you substitute the value of x 0, 0 by inverse 0, so this is suppose third, so you got the value of limit 0 and the function value is also 0. Therefore, limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0, f of x comma y equals to 0 and the value of limit function 0 comma 0 is also given as 0 in the question it is given. In the question you see this is given. Therefore, the limit value exists and the limit value and the function value are same. Therefore, we say f is continuous at origin 0 comma 0 f is continuous at origin that is 0 comma 0 so we have done few questions based on the limit and continuity so inshallah we will continue in the next class with some other topic or another chapter inshallah we will going to continue in the next class so i request you to like to share and subscribe my channel inshallah we are going to continue in the next class